Hello everyone, Jay Parry here, and welcome to a tutorial about how to use range, how to use ranged Phoenix in PVC. Uh, this is going to be quite a long tutorial. Uh, we're going over four replays, uh, two normal games, and two variations of the build. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, I'm in a replay right now at the moment, but I'm just sending it to faster so we can go over the build overview really fast. Uh, if you came here from Team Liquid, Reddit, or Battle.net forums, welcome. Uh, I'm Jay Parr. Master League Protoss and Master League Zerg and I do first person VODs and tutorials on my YouTube channel and occasionally uh, uh, tutorials like I'm doing right now uh, so this time it is uh, ranged Phoenix in PvC uh, why Phoenix? well I think Phoenix are very good against investors uh, investor seems to be the unit that's uh, been grinding gears in uh, grinding people's gears in PvC right now uh, and I think uh, Playing an uh, alternative style uh, might help your uh, performance in PVC. Uh, it definitely helped mine and, and other people uh, that have had better results with it. Uh, it is really a, uh, a more vivid play to, uh, way to play. Uh, you have to use more APM uh, to keep control of your Phoenix. Have your map control is your, in your uh, possession, so you have to really uh, use it and. Uh, to its fullest potential. There's also a lot of harassment potential. You don't really go, uh, like Forge Vast Expense, sit in your base and just sort of macro, take a third and then try to do a pre hive timing and hope, uh, the spines with the Festus and Corruptors don't hold it. Uh, it's really vivid. You get a lot of, uh, potential to get ahead if you multitask, uh, very well. Uh, so that's what I really like about this style. Uh, you have the, the game control is much more in your hands than in, uh, normal macro style. Uh, so yeah, it is a Phoenix heavy uh, play style. Uh, if I go through the uh, through the price, through the play style, like builds uh, through a normal game really fast, um, the thing is I'm going gateway expand. This allows me to do a, a three gateway pressure uh, right after I expand, uh, so I can uh, uh, force some units, make sure he doesn't go to 60 drones with only making a couple of circlings. Uh, and then I uh, have my expand up, I have my forge, I get a really fast plus one and a really fast target uh, to make uh, Phoenix, of course. Uh, so right off the bat, you will probably get two overlords. As you can see right here, the Zerg always sends this overlord around uh, as your natural will park it around here. And normally there would be another overlord around this area uh, to scout your main. Uh, this time it isn't the case, uh, but normally there would be. So you get uh, two overlord kills. Uh, two overload kills extremely fast in this game. Uh, so after that you just make Phoenix uh, and try to get your third up with plus uh, one. Uh, but actually I think this game, uh, this is a pretty normal game so I'm actually just going to uh, explain the build overview as the game is progressing. So my opponent did go for a normal pool hatch or actually, no I think he went hatch first. Yeah he went hatch first. He did drone scout as you saw, or see as you saw. Uh, yeah, and he's getting his gas. Uh, I did see his gas, I think it was around 3 minutes or something. Uh, maybe a bit later. Uh, but yeah I saw his gas, it was relatively late, normally it would go down at around 3 minutes. Um, in this case it should have been a bit earlier because he uh, because he drone scouted, uh, and as you can see right away, I have my expansion, my two gateways. Uh, by the way, I don't like this wall that much anymore. Uh, I have a different wall where I have the pylon a bit more forward, and the gateway a bit more out, so you can wall this area off a bit more easily later. Uh, so I have my two gateways going up, my nexus as well, and my stargate, which is going to be very, very important. Proxy pylon as well. I have my stalker here, I think I lost, no I didn't lose the salad. I think this, this game I skipped the salad. Uh, it's something you can do, you get a quicker nexus, uh, but it's obviously a bit more risky. Uh, he's making quite a few links though, which isn't really needed, I guess he's anticipating an attack. Uh, but yeah, my gateways are finishing up, I'm working in stalkers, which is a bit of a mistake by me, especially since there is no third base yet, there's no reason to uh, <clears throat> to uh, to pressure your opponent. Uh, I think I uh, said it in the guide as well, if your opponent is on uh, two bases, not going for early third hatch. There's no need to pressure, especially not with the stalkers, because as you can see, circling speed is about to finish. So I'm over committing quite heavily uh, here. As you can see, there's a lot of circlings already and a lot of circlings on the way. And me not paying attention to my stalkers, losing them to the circlings. 
but it was a bit poor by me um, working some cells here but uh, they're not going to help me there's already enough circlings out to deal with it uh, so I'm a bit behind here losing some units in the early game uh, but the work count is, is uh, very similar um, I still have my three gateways, I have my expansion, should pull this off as soon as possible and um, most importantly I have my phoenix out, my target out uh, phoenix on the way, only one at the moment uh, so I'm running this off with a forge uh, as I said before, not the best wall uh, you, to, you need two forge shields to wall this off, the, wall to wall, uh, this off against uh, bailing busts <clears throat> so that's not something you want, you really want to have uh, only to only have to spend one forge field uh, but I think in my other replays I have uh, uh, I have a proper wall on daybreak uh, so my phoenix is out, I'm looking around for overlords I should be doing some spotting uh, to see if he's not morphing any bailings because I did see him make quite a few circlings, uh, speedlings rather uh, so his third base is going up uh, and I'm starting my air upgrades already here's some uh, circlings trying to poke around uh, forced me to warp in on a sentry uh, now I'm using my phoenix bit to see what he's up to with his uh, with his speedlings uh, and yeah as I said air upgrades on the way you really want to start them uh, as early as you can and with this gateway expand you get your cyber core extremely fast normally with a forge fast expand you get it done you get warp gate done in around uh, 8 minutes like 750 or 40 if you chrono boost it a lot uh, but we're not doing it so much so uh, uh, but either way, with Gate of Expand, your subcore is done a lot earlier with Warp Gate, and you have the potential to go for the air upgrades. So that's something you really want to get, uh, because it will it will benefit you in the mid game till late game. Because right now, Zerg is going for the Infestation Pit. There's no realistic timing window where the Zerg is going to get his pyre. So there's no way he's getting his air upgrades this fast. It's just too much gas. I really want to get some investors out. Uh, so that's why I'm getting. Uh, that's why you should start upgrading your air upgrades really, really fast. So I'm getting the Twilight Council as well. No matter what you scout, you always get your air upgrades and your Twilight Council. Maybe not get charge. Uh, I think I did see the infestation. Oh, I didn't see the infestation pit yet. Uh, but yeah, if you see the infestation pit charge, is uh, it's a, it's a good idea, especially if it's uh, just circlings and uh, uh, and investors. Um, it's a, it's a bit better to get charge. Uh, you don't really have to spend gas on anything else. If it was Roach Investor, you might want to have some more Stalkers. Uh, you might want to get Charge as well. I like to get Charge and a Robo. Uh, charge Salads with, with Immortals is uh, pretty decent against uh, Roach Investor, especially if you have Phoenix to lift the Investors. But yeah, another good reason to get the fast Twilight Council is to get a fast plus two. Uh, it's really important to have your Salads um, match, well not match, be ahead in upgrades against these circlings because as you can see right now my opponent went for a really really fast plus one armor normally he wouldn't have that or I would have my third base up already uh, but the pl fast plus one and fast plus two really helps you uh, when you try to get your third and when you have your third trying to hold it uh, because of course uh, if your opponent is going for a very roach heavy composition you have the robo for the immortals and the cells will just rip through the circlings uh, so it's a nice combination to have against Roach Ling and also against Ling Investor. Uh, of course, I don't, uh, it's very clear that uh, plus one cells obviously are very good against speed links without upgrades. So uh, you need to get that fast chrono boost out. Uh, as you can see, I'm spending a lot of chrono boost on my upgrades, not at my cyber core, but I should be spending a bit more on that. Uh, but yeah, my turret is a bit late because the because of the bird so I should get a cannon up there uh, pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, normally uh, you need to have your plus one attack faster than your opponent's plus one armor of his circlings. This game I hadn't, uh, because I was a bit behind, he went for Lingy Festa with fast upgrades. Uh, so that's uh, uh, so that's the reason why it, it didn't happen in this game. So he's spending some energy to kill this Infestor. I think he used like uh, three Fungals and three Infestor turns to kill it. Uh, so even though he traded energy for uh, resources, uh, money, uh, it's still worth it for me in this case because his investors are a bit low in energy now and uh, it's only a phoenix uh, so it's going a bit fast here uh, i need to explain some more things uh, i did get the fleet beacon in response to my opponent's infestation a bit earlier uh, if that if there would have been a roach one uh, early without an infestation pit and there wouldn't been uh, would not have been investors out 
I definitely would have gone for the robotics instead, because uh, you definitely need immortals to deal with uh, to deal with the roaches, obviously. Uh, also notice my low sentry count two is uh, well three is the max uh, amount of sentries I you want to get because you, uh, it's just so gas heavy you have to make phoenix at all times as you can see uh, got the tail end of that uh, but I've seen this replay plenty of times and also did a fart on it actually traded a phoenix for an investor and a lot of energy on that uh, uh, by the way if you want to see some more phoenix against uh, investor action uh, make sure to check out my uh, my compilation of that uh, but moving forward I actually want to pause this game because it's going a bit fast I want to explain a lot more things uh, whether you get the fleet beacon first in response to the infestation pit or the robotics in response to uh, the fast roach horn uh, you want to get either uh, either uh, after the other so this time I went for the fast fleet beacon and later I got the robotics it's a bit late um, I probably want to have maybe I want this case no immortals because he's not making roaches. So in this case, I definitely should have gotten the uh, what's it called the Templar archive. So for some archons, uh, Senate archon is just very good against circlings, and then you have the uh, Phoenix to deal with the investors. Uh, so I got the Robo this time. I should have gone for faster uh, Templar archives. Uh, this one is just the Robo is just used for observers. I do not have an observer yet, uh, but I should have gotten one. Uh, it's just good for, good for detection. Of course, my opponent has Burrow. Uh, observers are slightly slower than Burrowed Investors, but uh, um, they're not always running. I mean, you can uh, obviously catch some when they try to Burrow in an engagement. Uh, so that's what you want to do. Uh, so a bit earlier, I saw the Corruptors with my Phoenix. This uh, indicates that he's going Hive Tech, obviously. Great Aspire, Brute Lords incoming. So what I do now is I throw down two more Stargates, bringing me up to three Stargates. Uh, right now my phoenix count is at 6, it's really low, it should have been a bit higher. Uh, you need to spend a lot of current boost on upgrades, but also on phoenix. You continuously make phoenix no matter what with this playstyle. There's no response or anything uh, which uh, will have you uh, stop making phoenix. Uh, at the same time my turret is not up yet, so um, yeah, my, my phoenix count is very low. So I do see him take another base. And because he spent a lot of energy on his uh, investors, on my phoenix, uh, I think I can just go and kill it. There's 44 links on the way, uh, but I have plus 2 salads. I don't think he has plus 2 armor. No, he doesn't. Uh, but I also have plus 3 attack on the way, so uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I'm going off to the third. I, I felt well like I was behind. My third was late, uh, so I felt like I had to uh, uh, try to go kill him, but Obviously that wasn't a good idea, there's a lot of circlings, a lot of infested turns, and spines about to finish. Uh, so I'm retreating here, uh, not the best engagement for me I think, but uh, mm, not too bad, I guess I still have my sentries. Um, so his great spire is about to finish, he has a bunch of corruptors, uh, but this is what I was talking about earlier. Right now his uh, boss is um, a bit here, his corruptors are at zero, 0 and he's morphing great spire, so he cannot really upgrade. Uh, usually Zergs will go for two spires though, it's, uh, it's a bit common so that can happen so we could start upgrading at around this time. But I already have my plus three air attacks on the way and my plus three uh, attack uh, almost done, uh, which is quite normal for your ground army. So my Phoenix are just superior to his Corruptors at this moment. Um, so that's something I wanted to point out, uh, that that's uh, what's going to give you the edge in the uh, uh, in the mid to late game when you're fighting against corruptors. Uh, so I do sort of suicide my units in here. Not the best idea, uh, but like I said uh, plenty of times I felt like I was behind my third was late, still not mining gas from here. Uh, so I felt like I had to uh, had to attack, see what I can get done. Uh, also I should have cleaned the circling from the watchtower because uh, that's what uh, made him see this attack coming. Uh, Alright so it's uh, yes it's uh, Brute Lords on the way, let's see where they are right over here. His investors are still a bit low on energy. He spent a lot of energy holding my attacks and harassment. Uh, but that's really what you want. You want to have the investors with uh, as little energy as possible. And even kill them, uh, kill some of them if that's possible. Right now if these 10 investors had full energy, uh, this army would have been a lot more scary. Uh, so I'm getting the, my Templar Archives. Templar Archive extremely late. It should have been early against this uh, Ling Infester style, 
I think I finally made an observer. Uh, killing my rocks over here and have my plus three armor. Uh, now I'm getting a plus the attack rather. Uh, giving my plus one armor. I'm not sure if it's better to get shields because uh, uh, of course shields benefit your phoenix and I'm going for archon so maybe shields is a better choice to go for. I'm not sure I'm still experimenting with that. Maybe when I get my third base up and running I can afford to get a second forge. Uh, well I guess not. Uh, yeah second forge so I get both so I can get both armor and shield upgrades. Uh, yeah, so to make my units a bit stronger. Uh, so there's still something I need to, things I need to experiment with. So right now I have a bunch of Phoenix. Uh, this is of course due to the uh, three stargates that I have. Uh, my harassment has stopped a little bit um, because it's just really dangerous if you have your Phoenix flying around the map with investors and corruptors on the field. Uh, as you can see now, my bond is getting plus one armor for his corruptors at the same time that I'm getting plus one armor as well. But I already have plus three, so my phoenix will just um, be that much, uh, be cost efficient against his corruptors uh, and actually beat them one on one. Uh, so here comes his attack, um, he's spending some more energy, his effects are actually quite high on energy, but they're not mixed. So uh, my harassment definitely did help if I didn't do any harassment with my phoenix, I would have had maxed energy right now uh, instead of uh, about 80 90 percent it's a little something but uh, it's not too bad uh, so i have my phoenix out here trying to uh, micro bit around the investors um, so right now i'm just waiting getting some more uh, stalkers actually i only have one arc and that's a bit of a mistake by me i, I really wanted to have more uh, and here's a lot of investor turns being thrown out so i decide to uh, retreat have the investor turns just deplete their energy, have not spent more energy, as you can see some investors are already out of energy uh, so I'm just sort of waiting it out uh, and here I go with the attack uh, my phoenix are do have plus 3, they were just that much better against corruptors and brute lords and my salads with my archon as well, one archon uh, will sort of tank the damage of the infested terms uh, right now I have my phoenix a bit of the infested terms, which is a bit of a mistake if the investors are out of energy uh, so once these, these investor turns are gone, uh, that's all of the anti-air I has. Uh, so I actually, if I would have had my third base up earlier, um, and I had my temple archives uh, earlier as well, and my robe I guess later, uh, I really should have gone for the storm. Especially with the latest patch, uh, with the investor turns having less health, uh, this will become that much better. Uh, because if you actually go back to that engagement, if I only had like one... Uh, high Templar with that's about a lot of energy or two with decent energy if you just land uh, a good storm around this area I guess not on your Phoenix uh, but around this area uh, a lot of these investors then would have died or have less health and my cellars with the Archons will just uh, shred through this army I guess I should have had my Phoenix on this side of the engagement as well uh, these are just taking so much damage from the investor turns uh, you know, these are sort of the things I uh, should have done better Definitely getting storm against Ling infesting the Brute Lords is something you need to do. Uh, but overall, I wouldn't say it's... Uh, well, actually, it went pretty bad for me. I did lose my third and my... Uh, and a lot of my uh, Phoenix. Uh, but with my triple target production, uh, I can sort of catch up, especially with Chrono Boost. Uh, as you can see, I'm spending all my Chrono Boost on it. Not to mention that my Phoenix are 3 attack and 1 armor. I should start upgrading plus 2 armor uh, very soon against his uh, plus one armor corruptors so i'm going in here again uh, of course phoenix are a lot faster than corruptors so his uh, reinforcements take a lot uh, longer to get there rather uh, in comparison to mine uh, so with the observer i'm picking off uh, some investors some investors as well even though uh, bird investors are faster than my observer and uh, so i'm trying to micro against the corruptors over here uh, like I said before, Corruptor is very slow, you can just run away from them, especially if there's no investors around. Um, and right now I have the uh, sort of the air superiority as yes, investors are out of uh, energy, at least useful energy. Uh, and I have a lot more Phoenix than he has Corruptors. Uh, and my Phoenix beat this Corruptors so one on one, obviously, uh, especially with the plus one armor, they're just a lot better right now. Uh, so I'm not really in any threat. He cannot retreat with his, uh, with his Corruptors because... Uh, obviously my phoenix are faster than the raptors like i said 
Uh, so that's the advantage you have with this style as well. Your opponent cannot retreat uh, with any units, really. Uh, he's trying to do some here, but uh, uh, he cannot really. Uh, also something uh, uh, I need to mention is that he has the circus hatcheries all around the map. As you can see, there's some corruptors coming out from here, some corruptors coming out from here. Uh, so his reinforcements are really are uh, divided. As you can see here, I got another uh, corruptor sort of out of position, uh, some uh, over here streaming in. So that's the advantage you have as well with your Phoenix, uh, that you sort of got to keep them together. And for the circuit, it's a lot harder to have uh, uh, his corruptors uh, together properly. So I'm re-expanding to my fourth base. Uh, I have my little ground army, army here, should probably spend some more warpins on that. I actually have the gas right now to spend on Archon, so I definitely should do that. And uh, I think that sort of wraps uh, it up for this game. Um, if you look at the units last step, just switched around. Once I had the um, air advantage and I was on the offensive rather than being defensive at my fourth base. Uh, so that's really the defense. Maybe it doesn't look as strong when you're uh, defending with Phoenix because uh, it's really hard to avoid uh, infested turns and uh, his corruptors will be all together with his investors but when you're on the offense and you find your opponent's army split up a bit uh, it's uh, a lot hard, a lot easier to uh, to make this style work so I'm getting some more Archons, no roaches so just make Archons and Salads and you should be good to go uh, I really should have used this robot more probably for some war prisms, do some harassment in the main or uh, anywhere on the map uh, that's some, also something uh, I've been slacking on with my execution of this build that I um, don't harass nearly enough. Uh, there's points in the game where my opponent is just uh, relying on investors to deal with the Phoenix harassment and uh, isn't really able to deal with any circling aggression harassment. Uh, and uh, he will have to make roaches because uh, obviously circling is not as good against uh, plus one uh, <coughs> plus one salads, I'm sort of at the loss of words. Uh, circles aren't as good against plus one salads, so if you have your plus two finished up, uh, you should do some harassment with salads. And uh, try to force some roaches, because more roaches means less investors. Uh, at least if he's going for a link investor based style. Uh, so he's doing a counter attack here, doing quite a bit of damage, but it doesn't really matter. He doesn't really have anything to do with my ground force. He's trying to rally in investors and corruptors from all sides of the map. But with uh, uh, my Phoenix, I can just pick everything off. Uh, so that sort of wraps it up for the first game. Like I said, sort of looking at my list, see if I didn't miss anything. Oh yeah, priority with the Phoenix. Uh, once you have your Phoenix out, you want to kill Overlords first. Uh, you can also save them up until you have about four of them. But uh, I don't like that anymore because once you have four, you want to be around your oppon opponent's base at all times. Uh, you want to have your map control, you want to make sure that there aren't like massive amounts of circlings like running around to kill your third and you won't see it coming. So you really have to have, uh, you have to redeem, keep and use your map control. That's why I like to kill overlords, uh, uh, kill overlords with the phoenix first. When, uh, when I have one out I just rally it right to the place I think overlords will be and then uh, I'll kill them. Next priority is once you clear the overlords uh, around your bases, uh, it also prevents scouting so if you do a different type of builds, uh, which, we, which we will go into a bit later, uh, you don't have to do this macro style, there's all ins and uh, sort of cheesy builds or just normal play, you can just stop at 4 or 5 phoenix and then go to into normal robo or twilight console play. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, something you don't want to have scouted so that's why it's also a good idea to clear overlords around the map. Uh, so next priority is queens. When you get, once you get in, uh, you have to kill the queens. It's just the main production of the circ, it's good to cripple it, uh, especially if the spores aren't up yet. Uh, you want to kill it, kill the queen, limit his production, have him spend money on another queen, and after that you want to kill drones, obviously, uh, do economic damage, uh, and then try to find overlords that are around his map. Uh, on Daybreak, especially on this area, probably around uh, back at this third, and uh, somewhere here should be some overlords. Uh, because later, if you do, warp, uh, do harassment with war prisms, you won't see it coming with overlords. So, and it's just more map control, map, con map control for you, and less map vision for him. So always good to clear overlords around his spaces as well. 
Uh, so that wraps it up for replay number one. We will be going into replay number two. Uh, as you can see, this game my opponent went for a very defensive circling speedling investor style. Uh, in the next game, we will be going over some more aggression from my opponents with uh, roaches and circlings. So stay tuned for that. Hello everyone and welcome back to the second replay. Uh, this time it is on Antigua Shipyard as you can see. Uh, you're still watching the Phoenix against ranged, Phoenix against Cirque tutorial, uh, guide tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this time we will be going over a replay where the Cirque was a lot more aggressive with uh, roaches and uh, speedlings. Uh, so we'll, we will take a look at how, uh, take a look and discuss how you should take a third when you're uh, open against that type of harassment. Uh, sorry, right away, this is Antigua Shipyard. We are close by uh, everything. Actually, it's horizontal positions. Uh, you might think, oh, it's Brother's favorite, but it works both ways because, of course, my Phoenix will get to his base a lot earlier, but once he's doing roach aggression to my third base, it's also a lot uh, shorter of a rush distance than uh, normal. So I think it swings both ways, probably a bit more in favor of Brodas, but I think it's uh, it's not too biased, not too, uh, it doesn't make that big of a difference. So I'm getting my gateway uh, positioned here. This is what really well against uh, six pools. Uh, maybe it's better to wall it off behind the mineral line, because on a four player map you, you won't always scout first. Uh, my op my opponent did send his overlord to the right position, so I know right away what uh, location he's starting in. Uh, so that's good for me, uh, also good for him, because she's because as you can see he's going for a very fast gas, uh, which is good against this style of play. You need to get the gas, get the speed links, so you cannot take a lot of damage from a potential uh, tree gate, and you're safe to take a third hatchery. Uh, so. Uh, I'm probe scouting really early, I'm seeing his gas, bit slug with the probe, should have tried to block this hatchery, uh, but I'm not able to, so that's a bit unfortunate for me. Uh, so, for some reason he's drone scouting, even though he saw everything with his overlord. It's a bit weird, but uh, not that uh, big of a deal, trying to do some harassment with my probe over here. So his pull is done, uh, queen should be starting very... oh well, yeah, it's no money, uh, but yeah. Uh, I think this time I actually skipped the salad again. Um, since recently, I think it's better to get this salad, I think. Because you will, well, not on this map, but most map, you have to ball your natural with a salad to uh, to hold the gap. You cannot, well, you can put a stalker there, but it's a bit more risky and, of course, not as good as a, as a salad. As a salad. Uh, because salads are very beefy, they fit in the gap very well. So that's why I like to get the salad as well. And I've had games against Zerg when he when they didn't go for a fast as fast as a gas. Uh and I tried to pressure with a stalker, but they don't really have to make units because uh, a queen can take on a stalker. Uh of course if you have some fancy micro or multitasking rather, you can pull your stalker back, gain some shields and then attack the queen again. Uh but I'm not that Gosu, so uh that's why I like to get the sell it, sell it so he actually has to make some units. So his first queen is out, hatchery is done as well, his speed is on the way, uh, no uh, drones on gas, and here you can see my terrible wall on Antigua shipyard. Uh, I apologize for the bad walls, uh, also previous game my wall wasn't as good, uh, there was actually a guide on Team Liquid, Brothers can serve the guide, I will probably link that so you can look at their section of walls, because I'm not good at it at all. I think it is uh, has a gap over here, uh, but all in all, all, in all I'm uh, going for the three gate again. I have my second gas, but because my opponent went for a very fast gas, I should see his speed is finishing up with my warp gate, so there's no reason to pressure. And with this map, this area is just very uncomfortable uh, if you're going gateway expand. So I'm just going to be defensive with my three gateways. Uh, there's the stargate, the key play of this key part of this play. Uh, my probe here, getting a good look at the hatchery over here, so that's very good. Uh, my three gateways are done, Nexus is done, uh, so all in all, it's uh, looking very uh, normal so far. Uh, probably should get a forge very soon, maybe I should have gone a forge instead of a third gateway. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, 
I'm just uh, following the build at the moment. There's my forge, so I guess my cannon sort of will be in time. Uh, so I'm using my phoenix as a scout. I, I wanted to use my phoenix as a scout, excuse me, but my probe actually got in and I saw no bailing nest, late roach worn, and I saw his gas, not a lot of gas, mined. Uh, so I felt very comfortable uh, just droning up, not making more units for my three gateways. Uh, if I think he was going to pressure me, I would obviously make more units. Uh, so my first phoenix, ex phoenix is out. Uh, I'm not sure where to look for overlords because uh, some speedling run by. I'm not sure where to look for overlords because uh, on tournament maps it's only cross, uh, so then you know where overlords will be. Uh, but right now I'm not quite sure. Uh, where where there uh, should be overlords. As you can see there aren't many overlords out on the map at all. There's one over here uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, on a digger shipyard where you don't get cross, not quite sure, well, either positions really, uh, I'm not quite sure where there should be things. Uh, probably at your third is a good location where there should be one and somewhere around your uh, third and fourth gas. Seems like a good place to have uh, overlords as a surf player. Uh, probably one uh, in your uh, around your main to us uh, to use for scouting later. Uh, so uh, this game is getting along already. My Phoenix level overlord, and I'm getting the fast plus one air attacks, as you can see, well before his layer is even finished. Uh, so I'm going in in here, getting some drones. When there's two queens, there's no reason to pick those uh, to lift the queen. Well, I guess you can kill one, but I mean you already has a replacement queen, uh, so I don't recommend killing. Trying to kill a queen when there's two. I do see the late layer and a fast, well, not fast, well, actually, fast Roach Warren, yes, because my probe scout earlier saw the timing of his Roach Warren. Uh, so, in response to that, I'm getting a robotics facility instead of a fleet beacon. And I'm getting Twilight. It's a bit late, you really want to line that up with your plus, uh, with your plus uh, one attack so you can get plus two right away. Uh, but good looking good, supplies even. Uh, I'm forcing some spores, and the first roaches are on the way, as you can see, doing some harassment with my phoenix as well. Uh, and even against uh, roach uh, openings, always make phoenix. There's no reason why you should stop making phoenix. Uh, so my phoenix here, getting a bit low on health, uh, but they did end up killing the roach. So something I did not cover last game is the number of gateways I recommend for taking a third base is 5. I think it's a good number. Uh, you can get units out very fast, you have the Stargate and the, sometimes the Robotics to make more units. Maybe if you go Twilight you, s you should get 6 gateways, uh, but with the Robo I uh, uh, I recommend getting 5 gateways, I think it should be enough to get your third. Uh, against this you can also get a Void Ray uh, to help get your third. Of course you have that in, uh, 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 what I'm trying to say, a sort of safety measure. Uh, but this game I didn't fe felt I didn't feel like it was needed. I have my immortal second immortal on the way. I have my plus one against his uh, zero zero circlings, so his circlings will just evaporate against my uh, uh, against my salads and the uh, rest of my army will take care of the roaches. So he's getting some harassment done here, killing a gas, which is actually quite important. But uh, overall, not a lot of damage done. My feelings helping out quite a bit, lifting roaches, creating energy for resources. So good overall. Uh, so like, uh, like, like, like I said before, low sentry count, only two sentries. Uh, maybe I should get three against Roachling, but they're very, very high on energy, so I don't really feel the need to get more. Uh, and I'm gonna charge with that gas. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, uh, if you, if you read the guide, uh, this, uh, the reason why I do this is, uh, sentries are very gas intensive, uh, gas heavy, intense, gas intensive heavy, yes, obviously. Uh, so you don't want to have a lot of them, because uh, it cuts in your air upgrades, it cuts in your phoenix production, it cuts in everything that costs gas, basically, because I want to uh, have a fleet beacon very soon, as soon as I can uh, deal with this harassment. As you can see now, I have only one sentry, I think I will may remake it this game. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm making three sentries at the moment. It's a bit overkill, right now I have four sentries, so a bit of a mistake by me. That could have been uh, a fleet beacon with the gas that I have. Uh, so I was doing some more harassment, but uh, I think right now I've sort of stabilized, I have two morals, I have a bunch of phoenix killing stuff, and my third nexus on the way. Uh, and I'm still making immortals by the way, there's another one, should get my plus 3 uh, attack started. 
uh, and as you can see you're just able to deal with this. Uh, imagine just having a void ray with this, it helps just a ton more. Uh, so if you're really, if you're still feeling uncomfortable with this style, uh, make sure you get uh, a void ray to uh, to help defend against this better. Of course, plus two cells are also not bad at all against roaches. And uh, with the model just blasting through everything, look at that 18 kills. Uh, good against so many things. Oh well, mainly roaches, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I'm getting my fleet beacon now. And uh, oh, that's why I didn't upgrade my air. Obviously, I didn't have a fleet beacon yet. Silly me. And I should get my plus three uh, attack very soon. Uh, so I'm going to pause here. So uh, why I think roach aggression into investors is very good for the Protoss is because right now as you can see I have a lot of investors. Uh, no, those ones aren't investors, those are Phoenix. I have a lot of Phoenix. I have 11 Phoenix, uh, 12 Phoenix, one more on the way somewhere. Uh, and he's just now getting his first batch of investors. So as you can see there's 6 on the field, 2 on the way. Uh, normally if you have about 6 Phoenix, that's when your opponent will get his investors, about 6 investors, if he's going for a normal circling investor play. So right now I, I already have uh, sort of the lead in energy units. I have a lot more Phoenix than he has investors. Uh, so as you can see, you're able to deal with it quite easily, especially if there's no barrel. I'm being very sloppy with my Phoenix here, having them uh, uh, stacked up like that, especially because I do not have range at this moment, because uh, that's some of the disadvantages you get from going for the robotics first. You don't have a uh, uh, you don't have a fast range upgrade for your Phoenix. Uh, so as you can see now he's getting some more fungus on my phoenix. This is like the worst fitness control I think I've had in quite a while. But I'm able to kill his uh, investors. Uh, that's why I think fungal isn't that good against phoenix. Because I think you need 5 or 6 fungals to kill a full health phoenix. Because as you can see now he has a lot of uh, shield and health damage done on my, <coughs> excuse me, on my phoenix. But he lost his investors, as you've seen the units lost that, I think he lost about 5 or 6 investors and he has to remake them. So he's trading energy for, for nothing really, for just some shield damage and uh, he's losing his investors. So he's trying to do some more harassment with the circlings, no roaches because he cannot afford them, he has to make more investors because of my phoenix. He either has to spend energy or lose his investors against my phoenix. So that's, uh, uh, that's what I think makes this style work, you can just sit on your in your base, make phoenix, make uh, immortals and salads and archons and whatnot, and expect you have the same results. You have to be active with your phoenix at all times. As you see, uh, as I say that, my phoenix are sitting very passively at my third base. Uh, but there you go. So my opponent is taking some more bases. Um, I'm not taking the fullest advantage of my map control. I should have the watchtower. Uh, I should be aware of this base. This like because of uh, Antigua Shipyard. There's no really fourth base for anyone. So this is the most common fort base for the Zerg, they just try to take another main. Uh, I'm going in here with my Phoenix again. Uh, so this is good, he's getting some fungus off my Phoenix, but it's good to have him spend energy and uh, even kill investors, as you can see here. Uh, my opponent didn't go for the barrel, so that's a really big mistake, because he cannot retreat with his Phoenix or anything else, and everything will just get lifted off. So I'm up starting to upgrade my uh, air attacks again. Uh, wow, that's a pretty big fungal, fungal. Uh, but yeah, so this plays out very similar. Uh, whether you go Phoenix, uh, Robo first or Fleet Beacon first, the games just look uh, similar. Yeah, and uh, I get I'm getting the Temple Archives now. Maybe I should have gotten it a bit earlier because uh, pause a bit here. I have my four Immortals, but he started. Uh, he stopped his road aggression with early uh, this game, I, I think if I stopped at two Immortals, uh, I think I would have been fine either way. So I think this game I should have stopped at two Immortals, get the Templar Archives faster, get some Archons and Storm. Uh, I don't, I don't, I, I don't, blah, 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 I don't think I've gotten Storm in any of my replays, but I highly recommend it against Zerglings, against Investors, you can feedback those, and Storm is just very strong in general. So he's uh, sort of doing a last uh, attempt to attack. As you can see, he's down in a lot of uh, supply because I'm um, killing all of his overlords. Uh, and uh, but it's not really working. I have four immortals. I have a lot of salads against his circlings, and he has no uh, investors to to deal with my army because he's spending everything on my phoenix. Uh, so that's sort of how you deal with roach aggression. Uh, you have to current boost out. 
uh, your phoenix at all times. You have to get a robo, you have to get immortals, uh, you have to be low on sentries. Like I said, at four at one point, I really prefer staying at two, uh, three max. And you uh, can go for charge, you don't have to go for charge, but I really like it. Uh, salad charge, salads with immortals and phoenix, I think, are really good against Roach uh, Link. And once the uh, yes, start with the Roach aggression, uh, you can get the uh, fleet beacon, get your ranged upgrade. And now uh, make Phoenix, like always make Phoenix. Uh, your target should be making Phoenix at all times in the game. There's no reason why you should stop it. And uh, upgrades, current wish upgrades. They seem to go really fast, these games, but um, I can assure you I spent a lot of current boost on my upgrades, both air and both grounds. Uh, so I hope you like this first part of the tutorial. Uh, these, two's, these two are very uh, normal games. This is probably how most of your games on ladder will go with this style. Uh, either Roach Aggression, Roachling Aggression, or uh, Defensive Investor uh, with Circlings. So you get a good idea of how, uh, uh, how you have to play against it. If you want to have more examples, more games, more tips, I recommend uh, reading my guide if you haven't already. I know it's pretty long, but I think there's a lot of detail in it and how to respond to odd situations like Hydras or uh, not Mutas because you auto win against that. Uh, and uh, you name it, the different types of scenarios. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, the build order, of course, is again in the guide. And leave a comment, rate this, like it, share, subscribe. Uh, whatever if you have brought us friends uh, which you uh, want to have them use this build uh, and uh, that was it for the first part in the next part uh, like I said before we will be going into uh, different types of variations of this build uh, some cheeses some all-ins um, which are very common two base all-ins or three base all-ins against Zerg uh, it's really uh, good that's pretty much what everyone does because late game is still hard um, even with this style, if your opponent just has a bunch of investors and is very good with defending with investors, not losing investors, uh, getting good fungus off, uh, you will still lose in the late game if there's just a lot of investors. Uh, so we will, we will be going into some more cheeses so your opponent cannot metagame you if you're like playing in a tournament or playing someone multiple times on ladder, you name it. Uh, so make sure you check out that video as well. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hopefully I will see you in the second part of this tutorial.